بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's uh, lesson which is the second lesson of unit 3 we'll be taking the uh, pair work which means that you will be working in pairs you and your friend or your colleague in class to discuss some of the questions that I will be uh, giving you but before we do that let's revise what we previously took in the previous lesson the listen and discuss what do you think is the difference between a house and a home if you remember this is of course according to your this is your opinion I gave you that my opinion is that a house is just a house it's just uh, bricks and stones and uh, mortar but a home is uh, the, as said in the article the laughter of the baby the family that lives in that house which makes it a home so a home is a feeling of uh, a feeling that you uh, belong there but a house is just an object number two what are the most important things in your home so this is of course uh, of course according to you what are the most important things in your home your father your mother your grandfather your family maybe some objects that you uh, that you value some uh, object that you value number three describe both the interior and the ex exterior of your dream home if you remember describing uh, the interior which means the inside of your house and the exterior from the outside what do you want your dream home to look like from the inside and the outside maybe the painting the number of windows number of rooms the facilities so set your imagination free and try to imagine your dream home and hopefully inshallah that it that it will come true so if you remember this article what is home by Ernestine Hank if you remember this this was a beautiful article a roof to keep out the rain is it just a roof that keep the rain out is it just uh, four walls to keep out the wind floors to keep the cold yes but a home is more than that it's the laugh of a baby the verse of a mother the strength of a father the warmth of loving hearts lights from happy eyes kindness loyalty comradeship so you can say home is where the family lives together in happiness and uh, and comfort home is the first school where you begin learning everything in your life for young ones where they learn what is right what's good what is kind whether where they are uh, where they go for comfort when they are hurt or sick so when they are hurt and sick home is what they seek where joy is shared and sorrow eased where fathers and mothers are respected and loved where children are wanted where the simplest food is good enough for kings because it's earned where money is not important as loving kindness where even the tea kettle whistles from happiness that is home and if you remember what a tea kettle is it's the uh, pot that you put the water in to boil to make your tea if you remember the sound of the uh, whistling from the steam that comes out of the kettle this is the sound of home and these other quotes here no one realizes how beautiful it is to travel unless you come home and rest your head in your own pillow if you travel for a long time and then you came back home and you put your head on your own pillow this is you get the feeling that you are home uh, bricks and mortar makes a house but the laughter of children makes a home this is some kind uh, uh, similar to what I said in the beginning so a house is just bricks and mortar cement but what makes the home is the laughter of the children the best way to keep children home is to make home atmosphere pleasant so the best way to keep children at home make the home pleasant for them a small house can lodge hundred friends even if it's a small house it can lodge hundreds of friends other quotes home is where the heart is home is where your heart feels that it's at ease home is where the heart is number seven there isn't enough furniture in the, in the world to make a house without love feel like a home so what's furniture it's the chairs the tables the cupboards so no matter what uh, how many furniture you have what makes it a home is according to this uh, quote makes it uh, love and feeling at home 
A house is a home when it shelters the body and comforts the soul. So where your soul feels at ease, this is home. Number nine, a house that does not, doesn't have one worn comfy chair in it is soulless. Soulless, it means that it is without a soul. With a house that doesn't have a worn, used through the years, comfy chair, it's very comfortable. That's not a house. The house is soulless. That's not a home. Number 10, a small old house filled with love is better than a large new house with none. So I think I agree with that. A small house with love and laughter of children is better than a large house where you live alone, where there's no children, where there is no love. And if you remember, we took some culture notes regarding the authors that have uh, said these quotes. Ernestine is uh, uh, from 1861 to 1936. Uh, she was from a city near Prague in uh, what is now the Czech Republic, of course. She had a long and varied career around the world. Also, Dorothy Parker was an American writer of short stories and poems. She was famous for her sharp humor, so she was funny, famous for her sharp humor. Lin Yutang was a well-known author born in China. He came to the U.S. in 1923 to study and lived there most of his life. He was also known for his translation of Chinese literature into English. Uh, May, uh, May Sarton was an American poet and novelist. Philip Moffat is an author from CEO of Esquire magazine and the founder of the Life Balance Institute in California, USA. And we took some meanings of some words. If you can remember them, the word atmosphere means the mood or feeling in a place such as home. So when you go to a place and it has maybe a quiet atmosphere, like a museum, so you feel at ease there. The mood or the feeling that you get in the place. Comfort, help, or kindness to someone who is hurt or uh, feeling bad for some reason. So to comfort is to help or kindness to someone. When you comfort someone, when someone is feeling bad, so you go and comfort him. So this is what it means to comfort, to help someone who is hurt or feeling bad. Lodge, to provide someone with accommodation. Loyalty, to show constant support for someone. When you are loyal for someone, you keep giving them your support, such as family member or friend. Furniture, as I said before, the tables or uh, the chair or the desks, so the movable objects that you put in a room. Shelter, to protect from something. To shelter someone is to protect them from something. So as an example here, a home protects people from the cold and wind. Mortar is just a mixture of lime and cement, sand and water. It's used for building. Worn means that it's damaged or in poor condition because it's used over the years. Now let's open our books in page 97. Open your books on page 97, the workbook, of course. Let's take here the uh, first exercise. Write the missing letters. So we have eight words here with some missing letters. I think this is an easy exercise, of course. Write the missing letters. Of course, these are uh, words that we took in our previous lesson, in the Listen and Discuss. And some of them, we just uh, saw it in the revision. So I think that you will remember it. So the first one, the first one, number one, A, and the third letter is M. Then you see the letter S, P, and in the last two letters are R, E. A, then the letter M, then you see S, P, and at the ending, you see two letters, R and E. Can you guess this word? which is a 10 letter word. So search for a word that has 10 letters. So it's a little bit of a long word. Can you guess the word here? Yes, it's the word atmosphere. A-T-M-O-S-P-H-E-R-E. -E. It's the word atmosphere. Do you remember what's the meaning of atmosphere? Yes, yes, that's correct. It's the feeling that you get in a place. For example, when you go to a museum, as I said before, 
there's a, the atmosphere is quiet. The, the, uh, the, it has a quiet atmosphere. Number two, O A L T. So the first letter is missing. The second letter is O. The third letter is missing. The fourth one, A, then L, then T, and the last letter is missing. Can you guess the second word when you give someone your support, your continent support? Very good. So it's the word loyalty. Loyalty, loyal to someone is to always give them your support. So it's L-O-Y-A-L-T-Y. Number three, C, and the second letter is missing, then L, T, the next letter is missing, then the letter V, then the next letter is missing, then at the end we have T, E. So, do you know the meaning of this word? Can you tell the, what's this word? Let's see the correct answer here. It's the word cultivate. It's the word cultivate. Number four, S, O, and the third letter is missing. Then R, O, then the last letter is missing. So S, O, then letter is missing. Then R, O, then the letter is missing. Can you tell what this word is? Let's see the answer here. It's the word sorrow. It's the word sorrow, which is maybe a synonym for the word sad. So being sorrow for someone is like being sad for someone. So it's S-O-R-R-O-W. Number five, P, then we have two letters missing. E-N-T, then we have one letter missing, then A-L. P, then we have two letters missing. E and T, then A, L. So, can you tell what this letter, the uh, this word is? Let's check the answer here. It's the word potential. P O T E N T I L. The word potential, which means that something that might have a future. Number six, a four-letter word, and in the middle is O R. So the first letter is missing, then we have O-R, then the last letter is missing. Let's check the answer here. So the, the correct word here is worn, W-O-R. And of course, you know what's the meaning of this word. When you say worn chair, it means chair that is being used for years. And you can see, uh, you can see all the years in the chair, the worn chair. You can see this is a chair that has been used for long years. Number seven, C O, then we have one letter missing, then F, then a letter, another letter missing, then R, then another letter missing. So, so this word is, yes, comfort. The letter, the word is comfort. When you comfort someone that is, who was sad, maybe he's crying, if you saw, maybe your little brother is crying, you go to comfort him. So comfort, C-O-M-F-O-R-T. The last one, number eight, S-E-T-R. So S, then a missing letter, then E, then a missing letter, T, then a missing letter, then R. So the correct word here is, let's check the answer here, is shelter. Shelter, S-H-E-L-T-R, so shelter, like our houses, shelter us from the wind, rain, and so on. Exercise B, write the words from exercise A next to the correct definitions below. Again, write the words from exercise A, the words that we just answered, next to the correct definitions for them. So we have some definitions here write the words to next to their correct definitions. Let's read the, the definitions first. Number one, possibility. Number two, faithfulness and devotion. Faithfulness and devotion. Number three, sadness. Number four, a house or structure that keeps you safe from outside. Number five, to improve or develop by study or training. Number six, a positive feeling of peace 
and familiarity. Number seven, old and used. Number eight, the tone or the mood of a place. So these are the definitions. Let's put the correct words next to these definitions. So number one, possibility. Which word from exercise A means possibility? Something that has a possibility in the future. Yes, that's correct. It's potential. Potential, it means something that might ha happen in the future. There's a possible, uh, there's a possibility that it might happen in the future. Number two, faithfulness and devotion. Which word means faithful? To be faithful and to be de devoted. Faithfulness and devotion. This is an easy one, of course. It's loyalty, to keep supporting. To be faithful for someone is to be loyal for someone. Number three, sadness. I think I answered this one. Sadness, to be sad. Very good. It's sorrow. Sorrow and sadness are the same. Number four, a house or structure that keeps you safe from outside. So, a house or any structure that keeps you safe from outside, such as rain, storms. Yes, this is an easy one. It's shelter. Number five, to improve or develop by study or training. To improve or to develop by training or study, to develop yourself by studying. What do we call that? Yes, this is an easy one also, to cultivate. To cultivate is to improve or to develop yourself by studying or training. Number six, a positive feeling of peace and familiarity. The feeling of, uh, the feeling of peace and the feeling of familiarity is a positive feeling, of course. So, which word is that? Let's check the answer here together. It's comfort. Comfort is a feeling, a positive feeling of peace and familiarity. Number seven, old and used. Old and used. Of course, we use this on the chair. Yes. This is an easy one. It's worn. And the last one, the tone or the mood of the place. Which word means the tone or the mood of that place? Yes, this is an easy one. Actually, it's the last one. It's the word atmosphere. Very good. So this is the pair work. Write your own quote about home. With a partner, write your own quote about home. Share it with the class. So try to come up. Of course, if you remember, we took maybe 10 quotes about home from famous authors. Try to come up with your own quote about home. There is no right or wrong answer here. Just try to come up with uh, a quote about how do you feel about home and share it with your friends. And also check what your friends have uh, written. For example, I, I've written some. Home is one starts from. Home is where you begin everything. Home is where one starts from. Where you start everything in your life, it starts from home. The second one, home is the comfiest place to be. Whether you go, wherever you go, home is the comfiest, comfy, it means that you are relaxed. Home is the comfiest place to be. I think you agree with me on this saying. Home is the comfiest place place to be is the it's the place where I feel most relaxed home is a shelter from all sorts of storms home is a shelter from all sorts of storms any storm whether it's a, a bad mood whether it's a, re a real actual storm maybe it's something I'm suffering from at any place outside any storm uh, any sort, uh, all sorts of storm, home is the shelter from me from all sorts of storm. And home is where the heart is. Of course, this one is mentioned earlier. Home is the heart is. Home is where your heart feels that it's at ease and is eager to go to if you are maybe traveling uh, abroad. And here's a fun fact here. The saying, there is no place like home, first became famous in a chant called Home Sweet Home, written in 1823 by American writer and actor John Payne. So, you know the saying, there is no place like home. I think we all agreed with that saying, there is no place like home. 
And with that, we reach the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu ala lanta astaghfirak wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.